What's your name, little one? Beans. Y'all never seen beans in my face. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. Welcome to the most hype, boneless, juicy, meatiest video on the internet. Yo, yo, have you ever wondered why? The determination of amplitude of n equal 4 supersymmetric theories, which led to the re-examination of multi-loop n equal k. I'm joking. I'm joking! Stop! 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 Okay, let's be real. You normally all heard the things called trigon armatry before, yeah. I mean, if you're high school students and haven't heard of this, you're... You're screwed and irrelevant. So now let's talk about trigonometry. To first understand the topic, we really need to know how to work. Trigonometry really fucking means first, okay? The trigon is three angle and the metry is measure. So literally translate to measuring fucking triangles. Good. Okay, so far? Alright, so there's two definitions of the trick. The trick ratios or the unit circle. I'll focus on the circle definition, okay? Cause you know, I like circles and holes. Suppose we have a circle, okay? Suppose we place the circle around a center of a graph, and the radius of it is 1. Let's give a name, theta, to the angle of this line right here. Alright boomers, we can then measure the theta in the anti-clockwise direction, in degrees, or in distance, traveling around the circle, aka radians. So the full circle will be 2 radians, and the circumference. Because a hole, <laughs> I mean, the circle is on a graph, so let's name the x coordinate cosine. For every value of theta, we will have it as the cosine of theta. Congratulations, you have a function. Surprisingly, the cosine of theta is also equal to the adjacent side of theta, divided by the hypotenuse. Now, let's be mathematicians, giving high school kids anxiety by giving the y coordinate a name as well, sine. For every value of theta, we will have it as sine theta. Surprisingly, the sine of theta is actually equal to the opposite side of theta divided by the hypotenuse. So right now, the radius or hypotenuse equals to 1. Therefore, sine of x equals sine of x times 1. And cosine of x equals cosine of x times 1. If the radius gets bigger, well, the whole triangle gets bigger. Now, let's ignore the circle and graph for a minute, we should see a right triangle. If a hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to 1.5, and this angle is theta, then the length of the other sides would also equal to 1.5 times cosine theta, and 1.5 times sine of theta. Sine theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, and cosine theta equals to adjacent of a hypotenuse. This would be very useful to find the length of the sides in a triangle if we don't already know already. Or maybe it was just invented for students to suffer. Anyways, if you're still wondering about tension, well, it got a 10 from cross and sign. Get it? <laughs> I'm so funny. Kill me. Well, the tangent of an angle is equal to the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So, tangent of x equal to sine of x over cosine of x. Um, also equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. Yeah. Now that you can finally find the length of sides in right triangles, let's try to figure out how to find the angles. To do this, we need different functions. The inverse trick functions. Boring! So to find theta, the angle you will need to um, multiply sine by opposite over hypotenuse or multiply cosine by adjacent over hypotenuse or multiply tangent by opposite divided by hy hypotenuse yeah, yeah. Rewrite this and you will have three functions to find theta sine to the negative one times opposite over hypotenuse cosine to the negative one times opposite over hypotenuse tangent to the negative one opposite over hypotenuse by the way, the tangent or the sine or cosine up to the negative one is just the inverse trick function. Like, it's an inverse function. Like, it's not to the negative one. Like, actually. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you, you kind of see that how that works out? Yeah? No? That is good. We want that. Now, let's talk about reciprocal trick functions.
It is basically the opposite long lost twin of the odd versions, okay? So the cosecant is the reciprocal identity of sine. Second, that of cosine and cotangent is the reciprocal version of co of tangent. Yeah, yeah. Sine and cosine of complementary angles. Yelling! In right angle, triangle, uh, what do you see? You see a fucking right angle. Sorry, anyways, therefore you can derive that 90 plus angle plus another angle equals 180, right? Thus we have the following angles 90 theta and 90 minus theta. Uh, now, here's the cool part. See how sine of one acute angle describes the exact same ratio as the cosine of the other acute angle? Well, this means the sine of theta equals to the cosine of 90 minus theta. Pythagorean identity. This is a formula derived from Pythagoras and it shows that sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals to 1. Great, so what happens if the triangle is not right? Okay, well, how do we find the angles and the sides in that? So, there comes the law of cosines and sines. Sorry, folks. Unfortunately, I don't have time for math because I got some real problems to worry about, yo. You know, I gotta practice writing tanks, so I'm off the wall of tanks. I'll talk more about law of signs and cosines later on the next video. Howdy, boy.